take another look at, they'll signal like they did there. Pat Hill, longest tenured WAC coach, 14 years. Mike McIntyre in his first season. So second down and eight. This is Jalen Saunders in motion. He takes the football. An explosive freshman. And here's some explosion. Saunders with a long run down to the 25-yard line. And Alex Germany follow, ran him out of bounds and saved the touchdown. This is a fly sweep, excellent run. This play is successful because of the blocks on the perimeter and outstanding open field running by Saunders, who's just a freshman, does a great job of avoiding the tackles there. Fly sweep has just become more and more popular in college football. Looked at him at quarterback, and I think we're going to see some of that as, as possibly as the game continues. San Jose State. In McIntyre's first year running the pistol as an offense, not as a formation. Here's Rutley, who can't get to the edge after trying to reverse field Lauren Bell, the senior on the stop. Scrambling out of there and laying the ball off. Here's Robbie Rouse. Bouncing through a hole of first down and inside the five to the four-yard line for Robbie Rouse and it's first and goal for the Bulldogs. Back plays and uh, they've had some success with good splits in the, in the line up front. Now Colburn is split to the top. It's Robbie Rouse in the backfield. And it's Jalen Saunders in motion. Rouse will keep and Robbie Rouse is in for a Bulldog touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown out of the Wildcat. That's a nice drive by Fresno. And I think they, they found some success running the football with the quick dives and made uh, San Jose State honest. Here you see that here you see that just the power play on the goal line out of the Wildcat. The team leader in catches coming into the game. His father Mike. Six years in the NFL in the 80s with the Vikings and Saints. Now a coach in the CFL. And it's Jones in motion here on third down and three. Well, Sekla in a ton of trouble and a big loss. Chris Carter with his first sack of this game. He's had a couple other hits on the quarterback. And now Carter with eight sacks on the year. They have just lined up off sides. So it's second down and one for San Jose State. This down and just, you've either got a play action pass and try to dust them off, or you go ahead and try to pick it up. Right, right at the very end. With pressure, Faulkner hit as he throws, and the pressure forces an overthrow. Again, he was looking for Noel Grigsby, and the Bulldogs brought the heat. Well, that was, uh, that was Bulldogs sprung a leak in the secondary that time because Noel Grigsby was five yards in the clear. Who else? Logan Harrell with the hit on Faulkner. And Al Faulkner loses the football, and Fresno State recovers it. Fresno State picks it up. It's Chris Lewis who comes away after a bad snap. And a big turnover for Fresno State deep in Spartan territory. San Jose State losing the snap, not only not only failing to pick up second and one, but losing the snap. And Rudley never saw it. This game from nearly the same exact spot, he banged one off the left post of the upright. This is a 44-yarder. And he got it, so Gessling Two for two, and the Bulldogs put three on the board. 13 nothing. three points off a turnover. I think we're gonna get some kind of pressure here. They're showing, the Spartans are showing double A gap blitz here. And they're gonna come with it. Flag down. And I think we're gonna get a hold against Fresno. Colburn has plenty of yardage for the first down, but again, a flag all the way back at the 30. Benyabin Wickery 
Eventually, the man that pushed Colburn out got help from a Isaiah Burst block well downfield. And I think, I think from Colburn's uh, reaction, I think the penalties against San Jose State. They're going to wave it off. So a big run for Colburn as they pick up the flag. And he gets all the way down to the 43. One of the most dangerous things in football is a quarterback running the ball. And Colburn has shown that in our other game that we did at Utah State. Colburn's ability to run the ball was a big difference in that game. And certainly it was there getting off the hook on third and 13 or 14. Picking up 28 yards and a first down. Rouse and Tracy Slocum. This is Robbie Rouse. He'll give it to Isaiah Burris, who wants to throw wide open. Rashad Evans walks in for a touchdown. Big time play by Fresno State. Big play. That's very well timed, very well conceived. And it was thrown on the money, 43 yards. Rashad Evans, very talented young man. 35, Kevin Kessler will attempt to point after 34. Now Isaiah Burst throws it as well as any receiver on this Bulldog team. And the true freshman with a touchdown pass. And from Fresno, as they're working the edges, they're able to bounce outside, run the quick dives inside, quick passes uh, to the outside receivers. But they've had success in this drive exploiting the San Jose State defense on the edge. You know, this is exactly what Pat Hill wants to do, run the football, add points, then run the clock. Rouse again. The Robbie Rouse drive. Touchdown. Rouse is second of the game. When you're playing well inside, you've got you've to figure they're going to try to get to the perimeter. This is just the, the old-fashioned toss play with a crack back block. A little bit of a hole on the outside, but nice job conceptually by, by nice job of blocking by Austin Raphael. Get the, that thing down the field. I said Harrison, it was Kyle Nunn, the intended receiver. Right. The man they've gone to whenever they've needed a first down. Unable to do it. And so San Jose State will punt. And as Wade stands Fresno's his two. really standing all over him, guy, and they, they've got to get the ball down the field and dust those defenders off if they want to have any opportunity. Now here's on the fake, and Wade oh. can't get there. Isaiah Green. Now Wade, let's keep in mind, he gets to the 23-yard line, which is four yards shy of the first down. But to get to the 23, he had to run from the two, so he picked up 21 on that, just didn't get the last four. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, got, he's got some speed and quickness. It looked for a moment as though he had a hole. For a year, but Pat's done a phenomenal job at Fresno State. Gessling. Three for three. Gessling, Gessling is money. He is money. Back to Pat Hill and Kathy, and they're very, very well disciplined in that regard. This is third down, and it's Robbie Rouse. Man, he'll get down to the 12-yard line, about five yards shy of a first. And we take a look at the night that Robbie Rouse has had. It started slow, but he's been big. He's done, a, he's done a really nice job. You see a bunch of plays here that he makes, and he just is a tenacious runner that keeps just keeps at it. We're going to have Gessling lining up here to kick a field goal as you just continue to see Robbie Rouse making play after play after play. So Gessling trying to go four for four. This will be the shortest of the four attempts. This is from 29. And just as the other three, he puts it through. And the San Jose State needs more push in the middle against against the field goal kicker. 
hit 33 points. And Robbie Roush, there's his night, 114 yards on 24 carries. Of all, of all those teams, they've beaten the other teams. They've beaten Oregon twice in the last two years. Each year they've beaten them, and they beat Oklahoma several years ago. So I think for them not to be more, more highly thought of, to me, is ridiculous. And by the way, just uh, about nine minutes left in that with Missouri and Oklahoma. Missouri just kicking a field goal. This is first down after the completion of Grigsby, and the ball is intercepted after it was tipped. Here comes Philip Thomas. Thomas, his second interception of the year, and he gets it all the way down to the eight-yard line. A touchdown-saving tackle by Brandon Rutley. Philip Thomas injured in practice two weeks ago, didn't play last week, looks healthy here tonight. Grigsby's just uh, got to touch it, catch it. You just got to catch it. He let the ball get into his body. Need to get it with his hands. Watch the stiff arm right here. But the great thing, this game, this thing isn't, isn't you know, coming slowly to a close. This thing, both teams are competing. Both teams are fighting. Both teams are working. I mean, I think they just continue. This is what we've heard about. They just continue to fight, and Fresno continues to fight. That's Pat Hill. That's their mentality. That's the San Jose State mentality. That's what you want to create as a coach. If, if you're not winning, if your guys are fighting, if they're playing with a passion, and this is, a, this, is a, this is an acknowledgment on Pat. I love Pat Hill. This is an acknowledgment on his part that the guys on the other side of the ball have played their buns off, and I respect that. I'm taking a knee right here. This thing's over. And, and I, think, uh, I think that is, uh, that's why Pat Hill is the man that he is. So Mike McIntyre and his squad now begin thinking about New Mexico State. Chris Carter, such a big night defensively. When Fresno State needed its defense early in this game, its offense was struggling. And then in the second half, it was the Robbie Rouse show.